Hello guys, hello, 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 very warm welcome. Welcome to the fantastic, fabulous and fantastic session by Vedant Unite in English. My name is Pritish. I'm your host, your host and a proud master teacher from Vedant. Welcoming all of you to this wonderful session where we are starting with grade 10, first chapter, life process. is one of my very favorite chapters. And I'll tell you that why it is my favorite chapter. So the reason why it is my favorite chapter is uh, just a minute this should be off yeah so the reason that why it is my favorite chapter is that because this was the first chapter on which i started working when i joined vidantu so i joined vidantu in the june of 2018 in the next few days i'll be completing four years with vidantu and i joined vidantu as a subject expert so when i joined vidantu the first chapter that i started working on was life processes. So this is a chapter which is very close to me. It has so many memories. It has so many learnings associated with it. And I'm more than happy to help you learn this chapter. So let us all begin with the session without any further delay. So very warm welcome guys. Hope you guys are doing amazingly awesome. And let us begin with the learning. So there's some information about I need myself. You can follow me on Instagram at Pitesh underscore Vidantu. That's my Insta handle. So follow me on Instagram right here. Okay? That's my Insta handle. Okay? You can follow me right there and we can discuss uh, any kind of doubts or anything that you have to ask me. So it is right there. You know where to go. Okay? Now, apart from that guys, uh, you can join this session by going on the first link in the description. There is a link in the description. You can go on the first link and join this session on the Vedantus platform. The reason why you should join this uh, session on the Vedantu <coughs> Sorry. The reason why you should join this session on the Vedantu platform is that you get to play the quizzes live. So you will get a chance to play the quizzes live. You will be able to see all the amazing features of the Vedantu platform and then you can join my sessions and all your favorite teacher sessions at only Rs. 4,500 but 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 let me tell you. This cost of Rs. 4,500 is only for the next 19 days. Yes guys, only for the next 19 days, you can learn with me and all your amazing teachers of Vedantu, English, Math, Science for only Rs. 4,500, only for the next few days. After 30th of May, the prices are going to change and the prices are going to be almost double. So this is an introductory offer that I'm giving you. You can use my code PREPRO. So that is my code P-R-E-P-R-O. You can use that code P-R-E-P-R-O. Right? And you can learn, you can learn English, Math and Science for one year at only Rs. 4,500. Right? And in Science, all the three. P-C-B. All the three for only Rs. 4,500. And that is only till the 30th of May. After 30th of May. After 30th May, the price will be different. The price will be completely different. Right? The price will be completely different. So, go on the link in the description and start witnessing the amazing features of Vedantu's wave. Right? So, before we start, before we start, let me give you all a very, very warm welcome by bursting some crackers. Come on. So, welcome back to the session. And we are learning about life processes. Now, as the term tells you, life process. It is a process. It is a system of life that makes a living organism living. For example, what do you think? What do you think? Tell me in the chat, what are the different life processes or what are the processes that keep us living? Tell me in the chat quickly. Come on, you can be right, you can be wrong. The mobile is right in my hands. Tell me, what do you think are life processes? I mean, tell me the names of the processes do you that you think keep us living. Come on, quickly. Hello, Navya. Hello, Shlok. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Angelica. Angelina, who is learning from me from grade 7. Hello, Gauri. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hello, Shweta, Jaya. Come on. Very good. So, Gauri says nutrition, digestion. Rest, Michelle says respiration. Deve says respiration, transportation, circulation. Angelina says respiration, excretion, transportation, uh, digestion. Tanmay says digestion, respiration. 
uh, right? Manoj says respiration, you are absolutely right. So the processes that makes a living organism living or that gives life to a living organism, be it respiration in amoeba, be it reproduction in a kangaroo, be it, um, be it transportation in a banyan tree or be it the nervous system in humans. Any process that enables life in a living organism is a life process. And these life processes include, these life processes include nutrition, nutrition where we'll be looking at both autotropic as well as heterotropic, right? Auto as well as hetero. Respiration where we'll be understanding the difference between breathing versus respiration, right? Transportation where we'll be learning about circulation that is heart and we'll also be learning about xylem fluid, right? Excretion where we'll be learning about the kidneys and etc. And we'll also be learning about transpiration because transpiration is a excretory system of or excretory process in the plants. We'll be moving on to a new chapter called control and coordination where we'll be learning about the brain, the nerves, the different kind of autonomic and peripheral nervous system, the system and the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, the central nervous system and all of that along with endocrine system that is your hormones, the glands, the pineal gland, the hypothalamus, the thyroid, parathyroid, your adrenal glands, ovaries, testes, pancreas, all the different glands, endocrine as well as exocrine, their hormones, the function of the hormones, the over and under secretion of hormones, all of that falls under this. This is a completely different chapter. Then we also have got growth, movement and reproduction. So growth, movement, reproduction, excretion, transportation, everything. These are the characteristics of nervous system, the, sorry, of life processes. These are the different characteristics of living organisms. These are the different life processes that makes an organism living. What differentiates me from the screen? What differentiates me from these lights? What differentiates me from this pen? It is the life processes that differentiates a living from a non-living organism. Got it? <clears throat> Got it? Come on. Now, with that we move ahead. With that we move ahead and <clears throat> we talk about nutrition. So we all know that all the living organisms, all the living organisms need food, need food for three different reasons. We need food for three different reasons. One is growth. One is repair. Or you can say energy. And the third is immunity. The third is immunity. You can even put energy next to growth. You can even put energy next to growth, right? So we need food or all living organisms need food for growth, repair and energy. And we get it from the nutrients through nutrition. We get it from the nutrients through nutrition. And these nutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, roughage, water. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, <coughs> minerals and roughage and water. Okay? So these are the different, these are the different nutrients when utilized in the body for different processes is called as nutrition. How will you define nutrition? The process of taking in nutrients and their utilization in the body to carry out different activities is called as nutrition, is called as nutrition. Right? So that is what is nutrition. Now, with this, we move ahead. And when I talk about nutrition, I we talk about nutrients and we talk about the modes of nutrition that is autotropic and heterotropic. Autotropic and heterotropic. Now, under autotropic nutrition, under autotropic nutrition comes the process of photosynthesis. Comes the process of photosynthesis which is performed by green plants it is performed by 
certain bacteria and it is performed by algae right these are the ones who perform photosynthesis then we talk about heterotrophic nutrition what is the meaning of the word autotrophic so auto means self tropism means nourishment so those who nourish themselves they are called as autotrophs those who depend on others for nourishment they are called as heterotrophs where i have got three different modes where i have got three different modes saprophytic parasitic and holozoic when i talk about saprophytic heterotrophic nutrition your fungi is an example of a saprotroph why fungi is saprotroph i'll explain please pay attention please pay attention what are saprotrophs so whenever on a cloth or leather or wood a mushroom grows how does it draw nutrition from that piece of wood suppose this is a fallen trunk and on this trunk your mushroom has grown on this trunk your mushroom has grown how does mushroom take nutrition from this trunk how does mushroom take nutrition from this trunk so what mushroom does it releases certain enzymes it dilutes the surface it makes the surface liquidy and it absorbs the nutrients so basically it's like i want to eat this pen i want to eat this pen i will put a chemical on this pen this pen will become liquid and i will swallow it and i will just suck it and i will just suck it so how does fungi or how does mushroom get nutrition from the trunk so release chemicals make liquidy and suck nutrients and when all of this when all of this is happening when all of this is happening on dead or decaying organic matter when all of this is happening or dead and decaying organic matter that time i call it as saprophytic nutrition that time i call it as saprophytic nutrition right that time i call it as saprophytic nutrition devesh zombie i'm not a zombie right but i was just telling you that how do they do it what a zombie does zombie bites into the human and sucks the blood right similarly the mushroom releases chemicals makes the surface liquidy and the sucks the nutrients and that is saprophytic nutrition even seen in rhizopus that is bread mold even seen in rhizopus that is bread mold right so that is your saprophytic nutrition now i come to the next one that is parasite parasitic as you all know example your mosquito what a mosquito does or what a cascata does what it does it will draw nourishment it will draw nourishment from the host it will draw nourishment from the host so when an organism is taking nourishment from a host organism like cascata takes from a tree mosquito takes from humans right when a tape worm takes from our intestines so whenever an organism is taking nutrition from other organism whenever whenever it is a parasite and the other organism is a host that is when it is called as a parasitic nutrition even seen in lice you know lice lice will suck blood on our scalp so that is what is that is what is nutrition chemo autotrophism is nothing but photosynthesis chemo autotrophism my dearest gayatri it is nothing but photosynthesis right chemotropism is nothing but photosynthesis now now yes lice liver fluke absolutely manoj you are absolutely correct lice liver fluke tape worm mosquito uh, your cascata all of these are parasitic nutrient uh, you know parasitic organisms so in parasitic organisms you have to remember that they draw nutrition from a host they draw nutrition from a host organism 
and with that we come to the last one that is holozoic which we also practice which we also practice which means taking in solid and liquid food solid and liquid food for example momos momos chutney and a glass of mango milk shake right or pav bhaji and uh, along with pav bhaji what you have no, lemon soda or your favorite combination pizza and coke how many of you over here love pizza and coke give me a high five come on how many of you over here love pizza and coke give me a high five quickly pizza and coke pizza and coke pizza and coke pizza and coke quickly high five how many of you over here love pizza and coke michel again that is an insectivorous holozoic nutrition because the venus flytrap is taking solid insect along with the liquids in it so it is holozoic come on high five yes pizza and coke i mean i also don't drink coke but pizza yes any day right so understood are all of you clear with saprophytic parasitic and holozoic tell me yes or no tell me yes or no quickly in the chat is this clear any doubts about parasitic holozoic or saprophytic the chat is open with me on my phone you can tell me in the chat quickly clear clear thank you so much manoj that's really very very kind and sweet of you yes do you know gauri 200 ml of cold drink or soft drink contains 8 tablespoons of sugar so imagine how much sugar you are taking if you are drinking cold drink so i am also complete no 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 against you know for cold drinks okay so now with this we move ahead and we talk about the definition so parasitic mein bhi hum got ectoparasitic endoparasitic ectoparasite ecto ecto means outside ecto means outside the word ecto means outside and what do you think the word endo means inside right the word endo means inside the word ecto means outside so the one who takes nutrition outside the host is an ectoparasite like a lice like a mosquito and one who stays inside the body and sucks nutrition that is endoparasite for example tapeworm tapeworm lives in the human intestine and takes nutrition ascaris ascaris ascariasis it is an endoparasite ascariasis is an example of endoparasite it falls under roundworm it falls under roundworm right very good very good very good gavi you are giving great answers yes manoj momos and chutney aha your mouth watering right holozoic me you have got herbivore eating grass so they don't just eat grass when they are eating grass along with grass they also drink water so herbivores carnivore they are eating the flesh and the all the liquid nutrients in the flesh also when you are eating the chicken you're not just eating the solid in the chicken you're eating the solid along with all the fatty acids along with all the liquid nutrients present in the chicken right so that is holozoic and omnivore also pizza and coke theek hai so you know very easy the process of photosynthesis super 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 easy this one is you all know that the word photon the word photon means light the word photon means light and the word synthesis means to prepare food so when you are preparing food with the help of light it is called photosynthesis it is called photosynthesis and here i would like to explain you the process one by one in detail theek hai so let's pay attention over here first the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air through the stomata from the air through the stomata then the plant takes in water from the soil through the roots especially xylem especially xylem then the plant traps sunlight using chlorophyll using chlorophyll that is present in the chloroplast and the chloroplast is a part of the plant cell right so plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air from the stomata water from the soil through the roots that is xylem and sunlight is trapped by the chlorophyll that is present in the chloroplast 
Now, a very yes, 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 Bhadra Nish. Please tell me your doubt. Please tell me your doubt. Now, a very interesting question I am asking you. A very, very interesting question I am asking you. Tell me the name of the metal. Tell me the name of the metal that is required for photosynthesis. This is your homework question. This is your homework question. Homework question. Metal needed for photosynthesis. You have to tell me the answer in the comment section below. You have to tell me the answer in the comment section below. The metal that is required for photosynthesis. Okay? Okay. Uh, yes, others tell me what is what you want to say. Bhadra, tell me what is your doubt. Okay? Breaking of water that is called as photolysis of water. Breaking of water with the help of light is called photolysis of water. Right? Now, this is the reactants. These are the reactants. Now, when I talk about the products, when I talk about the products, so in the product, I have got food. This food is prepared in the form of carbohydrates. And these carbohydrates are also divided into two categories. One is used category. One is stored category. Under use category, you have got glucose. And under stored category, you have got starch. Along with this, the plant also give out, gives out oxygen and water vapor. Both of them are given out through the stomata. Right? So this is the process of photosynthesis. This is the uh, process of photosynthesis. Shlok, no, it is not manganese. It is not carbon. It is not potassium. It is not copper. You have to search and tell me the answer in the comment section. Don't tell in the chat. I'm not going to address it. Tell me the answer in the comment section. Right? So this is the reaction of photosynthesis. I'll wait for a minute. If you want, you can take a screenshot. Tell me any doubts in photosynthesis. Any one of you, any doubt in the photosynthesis, I'm asking you live in the class. Tell me, do you have any doubts in photosynthesis? Come on. Any one of you, any doubt? Great, Michelle, that's amazing. Come on, anyone, any doubt in photosynthesis, you can quickly ask me. Search which is the metal that is needed for photosynthesis. It is from your grade 8 chapter. Materials, metals and non-metals, when this is mentioned, I've even told you where to go and search. Right? Come on. Okay. So, you want the revision one, Shlok? No problem. That's amazing. So, in the process of photosynthesis, where the plant traps light or uses light to prepare food, plant needs three things. One is carbon dioxide that it takes it from the air through the stomata. Second is water which it takes it from the ground through the roots. Third is sunlight which is trapped by the chlorophyll which is present in the chloroplast. As a product, the plant prepares food. Now, whatever food the plant prepares, it does not use all of it. It uses a part of it, it stores a part of it for later use. Because green plants do photosynthesis only in the day. So, in the night, how will they do respiration? In the night, how will they carry out their processes? So, they need energy, right? So, they use a bit of food, they store a bit of food. The used food is in the form of glucose. The stored food is in the form of starch. Then, plants also release two byproducts, that is oxygen and water vapor, as a byproduct during photosynthesis, again, through the stomata. Okay? So, that is all about photosynthesis. Now, moving ahead. Moving ahead. Okay. So done. Products are done. Everything is done. About byproduct is formed due to photolysis of water. Now, light reaction and dark reaction. Light reaction is absorption of light by chlorophyll, conversion of light energy into water energy, and splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen. Right? Splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen. This particular thing is nothing but photolysis photolysis of water again understand the word understand the word photon photon means light lysis means breakdown in biology that is how even I learnt biology 
I still remember I had a very very amazing teacher in my 11th and 12th. His name is Upadhyay sir. He still has a very very famous name in Maharashtra, especially in Nasik, Mumbai, Pune for his biology. So Upadhyay sir, he used to teach us the meaning of the word. Like lysis means water. Now whenever in biology or physics or chemistry you get the word lysis, it means breakdown, splitting. So photon means light. Lysis is breakdown. So breakdown of water, photolysis of water, breakdown of water molecule. So water molecule will break down into what? H and O because it is only H2O. So photolysis of water means breakdown of water molecule using light. So H2O, light breaks it down into H and O. And this happens in the light reaction. Right? And then dark reaction is reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. So we know that CO2 plus H2O gives me uh, carbohydrate plus oxygen plus water vapor. So this over here is dark reaction. And this over here is light reaction. Okay? See, biology is actually a very, very beautiful subject. It's just that you need to understand. At least it is not virtual like chemistry and physics. Avogadro's number. Now where is Avogadro? Where is the number? Mole concept. Where is the mole? Where is the concept? Plants. Here are plants. Animals. Here is an animal. Uh, digestive system. Here is the digestive system. Nervous system. Here is the nervous system. You can touch it. It's a very tangible and a very very relative subject. So just love, subject, love the subject. It is very colorful. And let's rock it. Right? Chal. Now, with that we move ahead and we talk further about stomata. So, stomata are tiny pores present on the undersurface of the leaf that help in the exchange of gases. Stomata is the same place from where carbon dioxide enters. It is the same place from where water vapor and oxygen go out. Right? They have a guard cells. They have a central pore, a central opening called the stomatal pore. They have guard cells. They have vacuoles. And this entire space the guard cells, they get filled with water. Whenever they are filled with water, the stomata opens. Whenever they are filled with water, the stomata opens. Whenever they are empty, the stomata closes. Whenever they are full, the stomata opens. Whenever they are empty, the stomata closes. Right? So as you can see, when they are full, as you can see, the water is coming in. So when they are full, it opens. When it's gone, it closes. Opening and closing of stomata, I'll do a special session on opening and closing of stomata. Now tell me how many essential vitamins are there in nature? On what basis are these vitamins categorized? So how many are the essential vitamins in nature? And on what basis are they categorized? Tell me in the comment section below. You also have to tell me the name of the metal that is required for photosynthesis. I hope you guys are enjoying my teaching. It is the first time that I am teaching grade 10 biology on YouTube. I have uh, taught grade 10 biology on Vidarthu's wave and even in the previous organizations I have taught grade 10, 11, 12 and in fact I have even taught first year MBBS students. So on YouTube I am teaching for the first time. I hope you guys are enjoying my learning and you understand what all I say. Please do let me know in the comment section if you think I am going too fast, if you think I am going too slow. If any feedback you have, please do let me know. You are my audience, you are my best critic, right? Love you all guys. Thank you so much. And if you want to learn from me and all the amazing teachers, you know where to go. You can just go in the link and uh, put the coupon code. That is important. P-R-E-P-R. -E Chalo, let's play some quizzes now. Let's do the quiz. So, the guard cells which help in opening and closing of stomata are what shape? So, what is the shape of the guard cells? They are irregularly shaped. They are convex shaped. They are long and cylindrical shaped. Or they are kidney shape that is rajma shape so what is the shape of the guard cells this is a very very easy and interesting question give your best i'm starting the quiz those who want to play the quiz on the vedanta platform they can just go on the link in the description i'm starting 15 seconds is more than enough three two one go come on thank you gauri thank you arpan thank you michelle metti is coming thank you angelina Yes, Michelle, you are right. That is B and C and E, D, E, K. I didn't give you any answers. Thank you so much, Shlok. Thank you, thank you. Sure. Very good. So I've got Michelle, Angelina, 
and uh, Jashasvi, Gauri, Navya, Ekta and so many of you on the fastest finger list. Don't worry, even if you're not getting to watch this session live, you can still play the quiz. Okay, come on. So that was amazing guys. Very, very good performance. Very good performance. So with that, we move on to the next question. Obviously, the answer is kidney shaped. Next question for you. A closed tomato of the leaf will help to reduce transpiration, amount of carbon dioxide entering the leaf, rate of respiration or rate of respiration as well as amount of carbon dioxide entering the leaf. So if this tomato is closed, how will it help the leaf? How will it help the leaf? Means it has to do something positive. So what do you think? How will it help the leaf? 3, 2, 1, go. Come on. Those who are not able to join, they can even give the answers in the chat. No problem. The chat is live and I am reading it. Koi pade na pade. Mere bachcho ke chat mein zarur padunga. Chalo, very good. Harpreet says A. Michelle says A. Manoj says D. Let us see. This is the fastest finger list right in front of us. And, okay, so these are the ones, the ones those who are shining in the green are absolutely correct. That's amazing. Kya baat hai? Kya baat hai? D is the correct answer. It is carbon dioxide as well as respiration. Carbon dioxide as well as respiration. Theek hai? Bahut hi badiya. Chali, aapko thode se, thoda sa dance karwa hai aapko. Moving on. So D is the correct answer. Next question. Which of the following is important for photosynthesis to occur? So what is required for photosynthesis? Starch, glucose, chlorophyll or cellulose? What is required for photosynthesis? 3, 2, 1 and go. Very easy. This is super easy. I want all, I am accepting only correct answers this time. Only correct answers this time. Only correct answers this time are going to be accepted. Come on, come on, come on, because this is super easy. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very nice. Rock to khao, ghee, dal and rice. Amazingly awesome you did have, you guys have done an amazing job. And for this, you get a special reward from my end, right? So, very good. Milestone achieve, milestone performance. Okay. So chlorophyll without a doubt is the correct answer. One more question. Photosynthesis converts light energy into thermal energy, kinetic energy, physical energy, chemical energy. No need to go in physics, stay in biology and answer this question. 3, 2, 1, go. Come on. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Michelle, you find out, I tell you the answer in the next session. Okay, come on. Quick, 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 very quick. This is also very, very easy. Just when you have to go faster, 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 faster. And your name will be there on the Super Bowl. That's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. This is called a fantabulous performance. A very, very great performance. And for this also, you should get a special reward. Okay. The answer without a doubt is chemical. And that's it. So... With that guys, you know that if you want to learn from me and all your amazing teachers, then you just need to put the coupon code PREPRO and only for the next 20 days, not even 20, 19 days, you are getting your entire English, Math, Science of Grade 10, Physics, Chemistry, Bio, everything for only Rs. 4,500 if you use the coupon code PREPRO. So you know where to go, right? And I'll be waiting for you in my classes. Till then guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedanta 9th and English. Remember, hashtag each one get one. Please just get one more subscriber. Whether it's a friend or a cousin or a relative or a ye, wo, wo, ye, anyone. But hashtag each one get one. Each one of you have to get just one more subscriber. And we are going to make this Vedanta 9th and English family bigger, better, stronger. On that note guys, thank you so much. Lots of love. I'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye. Keep watching.